if we talk about uh, breast cancer patients who need uh, a mastectomy, uh, most patients uh, want a reconstruction. And breast reconstruction still is quite an invasive uh, procedure, uh, whether you do it implant-based or with autologous tissue. Specifically, a lot of these autologous flaps, whether they're coming from your lower abdomen or buttocks or thigh region, it's major surgery uh, lasting for four to six hours. And after that, the donor side has quite some big scarring. And sometimes patients have, for the rest of their life, some, some, some donor side morbidity symptoms, aches or other symptoms. So uh, in the Netherlands, uh, there's, been a, uh, there's, there's been performed a uh, multi-center uh, randomized controlled trial comparing um, implant-based breast reconstruction with autologous fat grafting. So that is, you take f fat from a donor area by liposuction, so not leaving big scars. You process the fat and inject it into the chest area, and you prepare the chest area with a suction bra device to have a better graft take, uh, and uh, also to, to uh, expand the local skin. And after four to five procedures, so that's quite something for a patient to undergo, uh, and takes more than a year, uh, we can now make a breast with uh, fat from the patient herself, without leaving big scars at the donor area, and still are able to reconstruct the breast with uh, autologous tissue. But this is more uh, difficult for patients to undergo because it, it involves multiple, like four to five procedures with two to three months in between all those procedures. And the patients, they have to wear these bra devices for uh, longer times, uh, which can be quite uh, a nuisance. So we need some more work there to improve these uh, techniques.